Welcome friends, this is Kim with Stonesill Homestead and today I'm getting started on some green peppers out of my garden and I am participating in the Every Bits Counts Challenge that Jessica from Three Rivers Homestead is collaborating. She does this every year and I always enjoy doing it as much as I can. I don't always get to do things every day but I do want to put up as much as I can in the month of August. So here I am cutting the green peppers from the garden. And I'm thinking I had like 15 that I will be cutting here. And I'm using my Cutco knife. However, I had all those sharpened. And my vegetable knife got sent back as they are... 100% guaranteed and there was a nick in one of the blades so they sent it back and it was bent a little bit so they wanted to fix that and put a new blade on it for me. So I'm using my um, one of my other knives. It's, it's not the best knife for this job but it is um, very sharp and it is cutting well. Here I'm going to add a towel underneath my cutting board. It seems that everything is sliding all over the place and I don't have the best angle, so I do apologize for that. So I'm placing a towel underneath my cutting board and getting back to cutting my peppers. I will be coring them and de-seeding them and I am planning on dicing them. We really enjoy... Um, stuffed green pepper soup. So here I'm getting my scrap bowl so I can do that and I'm just going to de-seed these. But we do love stuffed green pepper soup and I also use these diced green peppers for omelets and, and other casseroles that I use throughout the winter. And we have a lot of peppers that needed to be picked and I don't want them going bad so I'm trying to use up what I can in fresh eating but then there's some um, meals that I'll be doing like meals in a jar that I will that I will also utilize these diced green peppers in. So we've had rain the past couple days and I'm not really able to get in the garden today, so it made a perfect day to catch up on all my canning and getting things done for the winter. I planted several pepper plants of different varieties, and that has been a... Oh gosh, I don't even know what word to say. It's been a guessing game on some of them on what kind they are. The green peppers that I planted are um, the normal green peppers, but I planted some from seed and I believe they were called giant Marconi maybe, the red ones, but I haven't seen those yet. Um, nothing looks really big, so I'm just wondering if I ended up with any of those like I thought I did. So I'm dicing up the, the peppers here. Again, I'm not the best um, person to watch for cutting and dicing. Um, nothing is exactly the same shape. I'm not really worried about the shapes of things. Some people are worried that when they do their jars that everything is the same shape and size. As you can see, that is not my main concern here. I am just getting these diced up so I can get them in the fridge or in the freezer. So I'm going to finish dicing up these, throwing them in a bowl so I can get them bagged up. I wonder what other recipes that others use for green peppers. Of course, I've used some in several of my other recipes that I've already taken care of throughout the year. Um, my three bean salad, I did use the green peppers in. 
So I'm just, just trying to make sure that I can have enough in the freezer for the winter. So I'm going to finish dicing these up here. And get them cut up so we can get started on the next on the next project. I have several videos that I've done today and hope to get these all up this week. So I look forward to that. So here I am. I've diced up all the I'm just finishing up actually dicing up the green peppers now and placing them in the bowl. And again, I'm just using Ziploc bags. I have a vacuum sealer, and I didn't want to really pull that out, so I just decided to put these in freezer bags until um, I get the next batch, and then I may, I may do that then. So here I'm going to show you the peppers, and that's about eight cups of peppers is my guess of diced peppers. And so I'm getting my freezer bags and getting those taken care of. And here you see me putting them in the bags. And I'm just measuring with this half cup measure. And I'm putting them in the Ziploc bags, taking all the air out. I didn't realize how how weird of an angle this this one is, so I do apologize for that. But these green peppers are just amazing. I am always so surprised at the flavor of them every every summer and wondering, you know, how we get used to the store-bought, the ones that are coming in on trucks when we're not able to get fresh through our winter months. And so I am always thankful for the harvest and this is just such a blessing when I need them in the winter months. It does not matter what I make, um, the, the flavor is just always there. So here I am still getting my bags and trying to get them all in. This last bag that I'm filling right now is just two cups. It didn't have enough to um, for three, but that's okay. I can use these for pizzas or omelets, things like that. And there, there you have it. It looks like I'm finishing up here. And I just want to say how much I appreciate each and every one of you. And thank you for joining us. And we appreciate the value that you give to us in time while watching our videos, uh, making comments, giving us encouragement throughout our day. We are very blessed to have each and every one of you as subscribers. We've really increased in, in subscribers and we want to thank you for that as well and welcome all of the new subscribers. So as you can see, I'm trying to get all the air out of these bags and I'm going to write on them what they are. I am going to write green peppers on them, how much is in each bag, and the date that they that they went in. And I'm grabbing the last bag here and again just getting the air out, closing it up. There we go flattening them out and grabbing my pen. And I'm just not happy with this last bag, this two cup bag, just, I just can't seem to get the air out of it as, as much as I would like. So I'm redoing that again. And here we go, we'll be writing each each one on the bag so I know again what is what it is and how much is in it. And 
what do you all use your green peppers for? How do you preserve them? Some people, I think, freeze dry them or dehydrate them. I just prefer to freeze them, again, for, for those dishes that I need them in. So I ended up with eight cups of diced green peppers. And of course, I will get more through the season. I'll be using some of them in my salsas. Um, I'll be going through other recipes throughout the remainder of the canning season. But these are part of the Every Bit Counts Challenge. And I just want to say thank you again for joining me and participating in in our day thanks everyone